What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sit Down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. New York Liberty in the building. Amanda Zowie How are you? Good. How are you? Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how's the WNBA season going for you so far? It's all right. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to get a win at some point? Oh, we will. We it's will. only three games, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rough start, but we have a lot to improve on, and I think we already started um, after the two indie games. I think the LA game was a great receipt of how we change our mindset. Definitely. So you've been on a bunch of different teams, I mean, your whole career. Mm -hmm. What do you like about this team so far in the early stages? Um, I just love all the personalities together. Um, I think we have a lot of fun on and off the court, and I think that's the most important thing. Um, all the staff members are amazing, and I just love being in New York. Mm. Well, you're spending so much time with the players and the staff. you, you got to have a good vibe or else it's going to be a really long season, right? Right, right. right. And that's, that's the cool thing about us. We come from all kind of different cultures and um, very different personalities yeah. when you look at us individually. But yet we find ways to, like, just click. And that's what I love about us. Definitely. And I'd love to hear about your backstory because from what I understand, you didn't really want to play basketball at first. No. You were kind of forced into it. Yeah. So I've always been overly tall mm -hmm. compared to my peers and um it was just a time where my mom was like well you have to try something um uh, my brother was playing soccer and it was either volleyball or basketball and she had she says that she played basketball once upon a time mm -hmm. but i don't really know how true that is <laughs> you've never seen the receipt no no nothing. photos <laughs> and then she just like called into the to a basketball club and I went to one practice and I fell in love and here I am. How old were you at that point? Ten. Wow. Ah. Yeah, so I started kind of late. Yeah, a little bit later, but still young enough where you can just do right. everything and develop in the right way. Right, right. So I had a lot of fun my first practice and I had no knowledge about basketball except MJ. Mm. So That was your guy? Yeah, no, I just knew he played basketball. You just knew, that was it. <laughs> and nothing else. So you're 10, you're starting to do your thing. When does basketball become a little bit more important? When are you starting to watch a little bit more? How does that all click? Um, it happened pretty fast uh, because I fell in love with the game real fast. It's a great and game. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I got called to go to the national team when I was 13 for the U16 girls. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, okay, maybe I'm okay. I'm starting to do my thing a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And then later on, we played under 16, the Euro European Championship. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, like, I saw France play. And I remember like exactly where I stood, how everything looked like, and that's when I was okay. I want to go pro. I want to be like these girls. Mm. Yeah, no, it's yeah. it's crazy because you're just like 13, 14, 15. Like you're, right. you're just it's still developing into a person. You're already exactly. thinking about your pro career. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's pretty wild. So you're hanging out there in Sweden. You come over to America. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest culture shock for you when you got to America? Um, well, on the court, it was just like how. It's a whole different game. Mm. In Europe, it's a lot of, well, more so teamwork, and we pass the ball around, and whoever gets has the best shot and most open is the one who's going to take mm. the shot. In America, you have, like, your centerpiece. Um, the ball goes through that player, and then everything else builds around that. So going into college, that was my biggest culture shock, where I was like, whoa. Mm. Yeah, so I'm sure freshman year was interesting for you in yeah, that regard. Yeah, and I was um, actually redshirted the first mm. year or half a year. So when I came to practice, and it was a lot of, like, trash talk. Like, I talked a lot of trash, but when I came to college, I was like, cool, y'all about this. <laughs> like, y'all with it. That's awesome. Yeah, so that that was definitely, like, the biggest culture shock. Well, that takes the game to a whole different level. When oh, you're yeah. with people the whole game. Oh, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Um, I had a... She was a junior, and she just, like, tried to run me over, mm. but I was really big then. Yeah. And she was like, this is my team. And I'm like, is it? Like, really? Really? Mm. All right, wait. We'll see about that. Right. <laughs> but we became really cool friends, so, like, it was all love. It was just right. different back home. It was like, oh, I'm so sorry that I hurt you. It's not like that here. Yeah, yeah. no. Nobody cares about you. And I think it was important that <laughs> that's, that's good to know. I think it was important, though, you stood your ground as a freshman because, like, if you just let that girl run you over and be like, all right, right. it's your team, it's your show, but you're like, nah, I'm, I'm nah, not about that. I mean, especially, like, coming all the way from Stockholm, Sweden, mm -hmm. and I'm going up to Minneapolis, like, I moved here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just jump in my car and go home. Exactly. This is my life now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not about to let nobody run me mm -hmm. over. I like that. 
Yeah. So you had an excellent college career. When you think back on your time in Minnesota, how yeah. did you build things out there with the Gophers? Um, I just had great teammates, you know. Um, Rachel Bannum, obviously, mm -hmm. is like yep. a Minnesota legend, uh, playing for the Sun right now. Uh, but we just have great chemistry together, and everyone around us helped us be excellent individually, but also as a team. And we had that glue mm. that I talked about earlier that I have now with my teammates. We just all loved each other so much. We were so different, but when it came out to win, we we ran for each other, you know? So, yeah, they definitely pushed me. That's awesome. So you have this great career. You start playing basketball when you're 10, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden, boom, you're one of the top three picks in the WNBA draft. That must have been pretty wild for you. Oh, yeah, that was surreal. That was definitely nothing I've ever dreamed of. Um, I didn't even know the WNBA existed. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to go pro and play mm. in Spain. 